rolls. I mean, nat ones and everything. I, I, that's why you're in prison. And I'm not, I'm not going to let you... Oh, Gatsby, how you doing? Clive's here. He's brought his friend. Oh, great. We'll bring him in. Let, let, let's meet him. Not even sure why he's upset. I mean, he's got toes on the other feet. Huh? I mean, who needs it? Matt, how you doing? Did I miss it? Did I miss it? No, no, you you didn't miss anything. Oh, good. Um, this is my friend. His name is um. Wait, what's his name? Bradbury. Meet Bradbury. Here he is. Okay. Where, where is he? Clive, where is he? Hello, Bradbury. How you doing? Listen, um, little personal space. Hmm? I mean, we just, we just, we just met. <laughs> you what? Well, you want you want to know about you want to know about the Arakaka. What? Why? 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 Why do you want to know about the Arakaka? There's what? There's one outside. Did you, Clive? Oh yeah, I may have accidentally cut off one of his toes. <laughs> um, the, is this a bad? Let's talk about the Arakaka. They are a medium humanoid and they're usually neutral good when you encounter them. There may be a few bad eggs out there, but most of the time, Arakokra are neutral good. They live in the elemental plane of air in a place called Aqua. And a lot of the time they're defending Aqua from the elemental plane of Earth, mostly from their sworn enemy, the gargoyles. They're, they're bird-like humanoids and they're really good attack is their air attack because if they attack from the air they get 3d6 extra damage if they succeed in their attack from the air using any kind of weapon. They serve the Dukes of Aqua and are on constantly in the search for uh, temples of elemental evil and either they will go and destroy those temples or they'll go and report them back to the Dukes and the Dukes can decide what to do with them. Bargaining with Arakokra with uh, things of value is not going to work. They have no concept of ownership or political borders, and uh, they believe that you use what you want and then discard the rest. So the value of gold, gems, things like that means nothing to them. They have no concept of that. So trying to bribe them is absolutely useless. The only language you can really communicate with them in is Arakokra or Oran. Now, if you don't know those languages, communication might be a little bit difficult, remembering that they are basically in search of um, and stopping elemental evil. If they believe that you are part of elemental evil, it's going to be a real struggle to stop them from attacking you. It's a great idea to befriend the Arakokra, but don't have them as an enemy. And if you do have them as an enemy, don't let them get into the air. Stop them from flying because their strength in flight is far greater in battle. These bird-like creatures have majestic talons that can just tear you to shreds, but they also use a javelin as their primary weapon. If you encounter the Arakokra, try not to upset them. They're searching for the seven shards, these shattered shards of a, um, a great weapon that had destroyed an enemy from the past for their leaders who are from the Vati race, the Vati race. And um, so if you can help them find the signs of the seven shards, they'd be very interested in that. They won't be interested in any kind of treasure. If you get into battle with them, try to take cover. Don't let them attack from the sky. Maybe try to trick them, deceive them in some way by lying about the fact you know where the shards are or one of the shards is and distract them in some kind of a quest instead of getting into battle. That's my suggestion. Although if you do do that, don't hang around, because when they find out you've deceived them, you're in big trouble. I took care of it. You took care of it? What do you mean you took care of it? I got rid of the Arakokra. You, you, got, you got rid of the Arakokra? Yeah. How, how, how did you get rid of the Arakokra? 
gave it the shard. You, what do you mean you gave it the shard? I had one in my pocket. You, you had a shard in your pocket. Mm -hmm. What? What? I'll explain it to you later. It's a long story. You can't just drop law like that. 